Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a food review on Fast Bite, Fast Bites Cheeseburger. Um, it's right here. I'm going to be doing this, so I'll, go, I'll bring you guys back when I'm, when it's ready. But, one thing I just have to say, hold up, actually, let me turn this one on. I just have to say, look at this ingredient list, like, oh my gosh. I mean, but then again, what are you going to get? It should be bun, chicken, and all that. But if you see how it is, I don't know if you guys can see, because it's not very clear. But if you can see how it's spaced out, where it has the ingredients for the bun, and then separate, darker, for the bottom part, it's just the meat, or the cheeseburger part. Um... There's some nutritional value on it. But I'm gonna bring you guys right back when this is ready and we're gonna try it. So I'll let you guys know what I yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think. Alrighty, so this had to be cooked in the microwave. That's the only way you can make these, I think. I could try it in the oven one day, but they're only about a buck. They're at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And there are other dollar stores for around a dollar. I think at Dollar General this was a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, something like that. So I'm uh, I'm gonna get this out and then I'll show you. <coughs> There's the burger, sesame seed bun. I'm going to cut this in half and show you what it looks like. There's what it looks like. It just looks like your normal, like, I guess, fast food burger, but let's give it a taste. And I like ketchup, so I'll take a bite of it plain, and then I'll probably put ketchup on it. Okay. So it definitely has a ketchup, or not a ketchup flavor, sorry. It definitely has like your, like fast food uh, cheeseburger thing. But, but I mean for a cheeseburger you don't really I don't really taste a lot of cheese now that just may be the part I bought me or part I fit into because on this side there's a see cheese right here decent amount so I'm not sure if the before I bit from was like barely no cheese on that side or what but But obviously, if you want, if you want something quick and you don't have any restaurants near you, and they sell these in stores where you are, like us for instance, then I think it's a pretty good buy. But you're pretty much just gonna get a, pretty much just gonna get a, a hamburger with a, a cheese on it. And in my opinion, but I'll I'll be right back and I'll see if uh, adding. Catch to it makes it 
a little bit better. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. But it has a real good flavor. And the bread's not like soggy like you would think, or hard. It's just, it's actually pretty decent. And you have to cook it in the wrapper. But leave one side open, that's what it says, so. But other than that, it's pretty good and I enjoyed it. So, but yeah. I'll be back. So, um, I'm back. I put ketchup on it. Here it is. Um, yep. And if you see, they got little, like, marks on the meat. I'm guessing that's from when they made it in the factory or whatever, but... So, I'm gonna taste this. Let's see. There's nothing. I like ketchup on burgers, so of course I'm gonna like this, but I don't know, I kinda think the ketchup makes it a little, <coughs> I don't know, it takes something away from it, but that was my review on the Fast Bites cheeseburger, um, this is pretty much, I'm gonna say, probably mainly a Dollar Tree item, I know they have them over, like, other places too, but get them more or less a Dollar Tree, but um, I enjoyed it, overall, a good burger, so, that's going to be it for this review, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like, a comment down below if you like these, or if you tried them, or if you've even ever heard of them, and also don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.